guys, this is Ruthie with the Popal Backyard Farm, wanting to uh, share a little information with you guys. I hope it's helpful. This has to do with elderberries. Clay and I are going to be raising elderberries this year. And um, we're, Clay knows more about it than I do. I'm just trying to learn as much as I can because I've never raised elderberries before. He told me he used to pick them, you know, walk down the road and pick them and eat them. <laughs> But if you know anything about elderberries, I was a little bit skittish about doing it because you hear of that they're some kind of toxic poison and all that. Well, here's the deal. Most vegetables and things actually, not I shouldn't say most, but many of them do have things like that. Like I think uh, potatoes and tomatoes, you, know, you can't eat the leaves and stuff. You can correct me. <laughs> I've been doing uh, farming for five years. My husband's been doing it for 40. But anyway, here's what I found out about elderberries and might encourage some of you guys in it. The issue with elderberries is this. Um, from, this is from what I saw, and if you know more, please share, because I'm always willing to learn. Um, the issue with elderberries is this, is that if you eat too many, that's where it sounds like people run into problems. The, you have, and you have to make sure you know what kind of elderberries you buy. Best to buy them from a nursery, and then you know that you got, you know, elderberries that you can eat and everything because I know that the red elderberry I think you can eat the elderberry but you can't eat the seed <laughs> so it's like those they're not that big of a berry but anyway um people like elderberries because they're really good for you a lot of times people take elderberry syrup and, and things to keep from getting sick and it's flu prevention and this type of thing that makes jams and pies and all that but you just can't gorge yourself on it you just eat a you know just eat a normal portion like an apple you can eat an apple but you can't eat like tons of those seeds you know you have to you know you you know you can eat apples but you just have to regulate how much you eat and same with the elderberry you can eat elderberry but sometimes what happens is there's some people that may be more sensitive and it may make them throw up and not feel good. So people stay away from elderberry because they hear all these things and they get nervous and things. But for the most part, um, from my research and study, it's like all things in moderation. So if you eat an elderberry, just don't eat tons and tons of them if you're new to the elderberry world. <laughs> and uh, have, a, you know, have your syrup or your pie, but just don't be eating maybe the whole pie. I'm not sure if my information is completely correct, and that's why I'm sharing this, because I thought that I have a lot of farming friends out here. Maybe you can give me some information about elderberries, some more information. I'm constantly doing research to learn. If you've done a video on elderberries, pop it up. So, you know, leave it in the link below so everybody can learn from you. And if you've been eating them since you've been a kid, like my husband, you know, but um, this is my first time out learning how to make elderberry syrup and jam and all that type of thing. So I wanted to just toss that out to you guys, see what you know. But from what I saw, it looks like it's an excellent addition to the farm. You can make all kinds of good things. It's just, you know, it's like rhubarb. You know, the leaves are poisonous and things like this. You just got to use a little bit of caution and you'll be fine. But uh, anyway, this is Ruthie from the Popal Backyard Farm. Again, if you have a video or a video response, leave it in the link below so everyone can see what you had to say. And, uh, or, and just, or just comment and tell us what you, what you know. Anyway, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless.